I've not been able to run for almost four weeks and I'm actually kind of glad it happened which sounds really weird because injuries suck right so in this video I'm gonna try to break down what happened and how it has helped me so what happened five weeks ago I was still in the United States it was the final week of my eight months of traveling and on Sunday I traveled back to the Netherlands and in the week leading up to traveling back I actually had one of the best training weeks of my life probably uh, I knew I had signed up for a race a 100k ultra marathon back in the Netherlands in September and this was going to be my peak week of training so I ran 200 kilometers I felt really good uh, on Friday and Saturday I did back-to-back -back marathons the one on Friday was pretty easy three and a half hours and then on Saturday I kind of surprised myself by running a 254 marathon as a training run after doing a lot of mileage already in that week so I was really confident about the race and then on Sunday I had to get on the plane to fly back to the Netherlands well back in the Netherlands I did two runs and then boom injured and it was pretty severe I couldn't even walk properly without pain so it was a combination of being back to my home country after eight months of being away and having an amazing time and not being able to even walk let alone run so that was interesting and kind of challenging in the first week of being injured i was i was struggling struggling to deal with my emotions basically and usually a way of dealing with my emotions is to run I think sometimes I'm actually running away from my emotions because I never really learned to deal with my emotions or to just experience my emotions. So running is just a way of ignoring them in a sense, which is not very healthy. So that is something I realized over the past few weeks, not being able to run and experiencing a lot of emotions. I'm not very good at dealing with them because I couldn't run or even walk or move properly without pain. I had to sit on the couch for at least the first week or two weeks. I did some cycling, but yeah, way less exercise than I'm used to. This gave me a lot of time to reflect, a lot of headspace to reflect. So I've realized a few things. One of them is that I'm not very good at dealing with emotions. I think I'd never really learned how to deal with my emotions for several reasons. But in the last couple of weeks, I realized for the first time that I've been using running in an unhealthy way to kind of distract myself from my emotions. So of course I agree that running or exercise in general is a great way to improve your mental health or to deal with mental struggles, but it can also become an unhealthy way to deal with your emotions. And I think that has been the case for me in the last couple of years. Because if you experience something in your mind, it's kind of easy to just go for a run and then it kind of disappears and everything makes sense again. But have you really dealt with your emotions? At least for me, I think it's a way of distracting myself from my emotions. And this period of being injured made me realize that for the first time. Because I had a lot of time to think, I also realized that I've been pushing myself pretty hard over the last couple of years in terms of running. I always felt like I needed to do more and I needed to become faster and stronger and better and everything. And I never really gave myself a moment to just relax and just run for fun or without any goals in mind or without pushing myself so hard. So I realized that it became quite compulsive, like I had to run. And especially in the last few months in the United States. Running kind of sucked because it was so hot and so humid and for most of the days I didn't really want to go for a run but I just went for a run anyway because it was so compulsive and I had to go and I had to get ready for the race in September. So when I realized those two things I was actually pretty happy I was injured because without the injury I would probably never realize those things or maybe in a couple of years or I don't know when. So I'm actually glad it happened because I realized that running is not always a healthy way for me to deal with life. And I want to change some things. 
So what I want to change is being able to deal with my emotions even when I cannot run. Or not being so dependent on running for dealing with my emotions. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that, but at least that's a goal I have in mind right now. Something else I want to learn is just to be content without running. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop running, but I don't want to be so dependent on running for feeling content mentally. I recently discovered that I can enjoy running without actually running myself. So as I've said, I signed up for that 100k ultra marathon in the Netherlands. And well, I didn't do the race myself, obviously, because I was injured. But I still went to the race anyway uh, to spectate and also to support a friend of mine who was doing the 50k. So that was kind of a test to see if I was really content with not being able to run. And well, of course, it was challenging to be there and face the fact that I was really prepared for the race and I could probably run a really good time and I was not being able to, to participate. That was challenging. But in the end, I actually had a really good time just supporting my friend and just seeing all the runners doing the race. And that was a really cool moment. I've never really been to a race without running myself. I also had to find a new morning routine because usually I go for a run in the morning and I'm like gone for two hours. When I couldn't run, I had a lot of time in the morning. And I got into journaling, just writing down my thoughts right after waking up. So I would make a cup of coffee and then sit down and just write whatever comes up in my mind. And that has been really nice up to the point that I'm really looking forward to waking up to write down my thoughts, which I could not have imagined like two months ago because I was so focused on running and I have to get out every morning. And I don't feel good if I just sit down in the morning and not run immediately. So that has been a really meaningful experience and it helps me to connect with my emotions to kind of make sense of all my thoughts everything that's going on in my mind so i'm trying to become consistent with journaling so how am i going to proceed after learning all these things the last few weeks well i'm not going to stop running i actually started running this week i had a few runs and my injury is gone luckily so i'm happy about that and I think running is a great way to stay healthy, to meet new people, explore new places, push my boundaries. But for the upcoming months, I'm not going to sign up for any races. I'm just going to run and try to have a healthy relationship with running. Try to combine it with journaling in the morning and not being so dependent on running for my mental health. So that's going to be a big learning experience. I'm not sure. I'm going to do that, well, continue with journaling, reading stuff about how to deal with emotions, I guess. I've been reading a great book about that, so that's really helpful. I think I will sign up for some races next year and just trying to get back to being fit and healthy. And I'm kind of looking forward to a period where I'm not so focused on running and it's not so compulsive. One of the biggest takeaways for me is that it's a challenge to postpone your judgment when something happens that you perceive as bad. So being injured, it sounds bad and something you want to get rid of as soon as possible. But I've learned that being injured can actually be a blessing, as I've explained how that was for me. So I think that's a really big lesson for me. Not immediately judge your situation as being bad because maybe there is a lesson for you somewhere in that situation. And it's just a matter of time before you find out how it can actually be a blessing in your life. So this was a short breakdown of everything that happened over the last couple of weeks. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next video.